Talking of nets, George Osborne, what do we think? Oh. Is it up or is it down? Oh. Do you know what? I'd sooner have Ozzy Osborne as Chancellor. <laughs> I'll tell you what, because at least with Ozzy, the only cuts made would be the effing and blinding from his speech, that's all. <laughs> Do you know what got my back up? Oh, those Tories whooping and hollering when they heard about the cuts. Did you see them? All in the background. Do you watch telly or politics, you lot? <laughs> but ain't X Factor, not I can interest it. <laughs> No, they were, they annoyed me, they're all, yeah, you have sound up, it's got to scrap the pension, yay, no more wheelchairs, yay, <laughs> bastards. <laughs> no, sorry. Ooh. I do apologise for the language, that just fell out. <laughs> I bet when they were children, they laughed in Bambi when his mother got shot. I bet <laughs> In the words of the old musical song, folks, it's the same, the old world over. It's the power, what gets the blame, all together. It's the rich, what gets the pleasure, pine and all a bleeding shame. I tell you what. <laughs> it wouldn't be the French. <laughs> Look at them now, the French kick-off. If the coffee's cold, for God's sake. <laughs> we should take a leaf out of their book. Oh, yes. We should take to the streets. We should be vocal in our fight against oppression. We should let... Oh, shit. We should let them know that we are not taking these draconian cuts lightly. We should fight for the rights of the elderly, of the poor. Of the sick <laughs> and of the little children's. <laughs> Vive la Birkenhead, Vive la Revolution! <laughs> I know, I'm like you, I can't be bothered, it's two coats. <laughs> you only need two things in a riot flat shoes and a pram, that's all. <laughs> So you can run away from the coppers and smash it in Dixon's window. Bang! <laughs> my hands are soaking. Oh, put that glass in me way while I'm emoting. <laughs> There's only water as well. You know, they put an extra guard, a police guard, at Downing Street in case there was a riot. But the thing is, because of the cuts, they couldn't afford to pay overtime, so they all went home to the clock. <laughs> oh, sick God. Even the Queen's had a money cut. <laughs> yes, God love her. She'll be shopping in bloody little come Christmas. <laughs> What I want to know is, when that Chilean president came over to see her, he brought her a lump of rock, didn't he? <laughs> but it's not going to look good on the mantelpiece, is it? There's a big lump of rock. I wonder what she did with it. I hope she lobbed it through George Osborne's window and dropped it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The country's coming to. Never mind, I've soaked the couch as well. Just as well, still, it's not here. I'd have to blame her for that. <laughs> Got the tenor ladies. Anyway. <laughs> Poor Silla, she did half get some stick off me. <laughs> it's true, though. I have to take bin liners when she comes round the house. Anyway.